So your unit two definition question is going to be very similar to your unit one um, definition question. Both have five marks on offer and for, for, for both of these you're going to structure your response um, in a very similar kind of way. So um, if you remember back to the, your unit one definition, uh, five marks on offer, and you can actually pick up all five marks simply from um, writing a solid written definition. Okay, but if you want to guarantee yourself um, the full five marks, then you want to include some other um, features to your answer. First of these is going to be um, examples and other technical terms. And so make sure the language that you're using is very specific, it's specific to, to your unit two concept, and you're including key technical terms. Right, so you don't need a definition within the definition, but um, these can be thought of as examples. So um, say for instance, you were defining the term real income. Um, types, of, types of terms you could be including in that definition are wages, pension payments, and um, interest. Okay, so these are these are obviously technical terms that you've used in unit two. Um, and like I said, you don't need to define these, but you can include them as examples of real income. Um, another example, say um, the definition in the question was um, the economic cycle, right? So key, term, key terminology here um, could include recession, could include the word boom, and also um, the word output gap. Um, so two marks on offer, largely speaking, for um, including relevant examples. And then um, depending on the question, you might actually be able to pick up all five marks um, from your diagram alone. So um, say something quite technical like the output gap, I mean, actually, it's better to, to explain what the output gap is diagrammatically rather than um, through, through um, the use of a, a written definition. So in this case, um, you could actually pick up all five marks from um, drawing a fully annotated and fully explained um, diagram illustrating the, the output gap. Um, but generally speaking, um, for your diagram, there's going to be a maximum of, of two marks available. Okay, I'm going to run you through Jan 2013, question number one. Um, it is the question which asks you to define the term economic cycle. Um, so we're going to start with our written definition. Now, what you want to aim for is something that looks like that. Um, don't worry if your written definition isn't 100% spot on. Um, we will, obviously, by including these other features, so your diagram and your example, um, you can compensate for any um, omissions in that definition. Uh, right, so it doesn't matter whether you include your diagram next or your example next. I've gone for, for your diagram, and you want to aim for something that looks like this. Um, so notice here your axes and your curves, they need to be fully labelled. So it's very hard to, to, to um, interpret how many marks exactly are going to be on offer for your diagram within this definition question. But I'd say, um, as a bare minimum, you want to be picking up at least two marks for your diagram. Um, and what that means is that um, your axes and your curves are fully labelled. I think that's a fairly uh, reasonable task. Right? So axes and curves fully labelled. And actually, in this question, um, the examiner is going to give you four marks in total for your diagram. So two marks something that looks like this, and then a further two marks for um, labelling on your boom and your recession phases of the economic cycle. So four marks on offer there. And now I would go on to your example. So actually, I mean, just, just by simply stating... Um, what the what a boom is and what a recession is. Alternatively, you could use the word slump and recovery. You're also going to get a further um, one mark each for, for each of these examples, um, but um, up to a maximum of two marks. So you should be able to see from here, I mean, just so long as you've included um, a half decent diagram, you've included your key technical terms, it doesn't really matter if your definition is a pile of rubbish because you only need one or two more marks um, out of uh, the five that are on offer for that written definition to get full marks. Okay, so key points here. Always start with your written definition and then you're going to compensate um, any omissions from this definition um, by including your example and your diagram. Okay, and remember these are really, really, really important, your diagram and, and your example. Um, I would always include I would always include these two features, even if you don't think they're um, exactly what the examiner is looking for. Remember, there is no negative marking in any of this exam, so you want to be taking a formulaic approach, always including the same features um, for um, any, any question that you're looking at. So in this case, five mark definition question, always include your um, examples, and always include um, a relevant diagram. <laughs> Fair 
thanks very much for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more tutoring videos. Remember that full notes and other resources are available on my tutoring website at idktuition.com. And if you'd like me to cover anything in particular, please leave me a message in the comments below or on Twitter at TomDavies32.